So in this session, we'll be talking about how and why we need to train the document understanding models. So the first thing that comes to our mind when we are talking about document understanding is how we are going to extract the data. In UiPath, we have different ways of extracting the data from documents. One of them is using ML models. So for us to use a machine learning model, we need to specify what kind of fields we need to extract and what are the data types and from where to find it. Usually, when we use machine learning models is when we have a semi-structured document that has variety of layouts and different ways of representing the same information, just like what we see in a different invoices. So, why it is important to train? The first thing is, imagine a scenario where you are training, where you are creating a new model to extract data. So, in this case, we need to specify what fields we need to extract, the data types, and where we, need, we can find that information in different types of documents, because it has different layouts. The second option is, you have an existing model, and you need to add new columns to be extracted. So, we need to tell the model that these are the new columns, and these are the data types, and this is where you can find them. And lastly, this training will actually improve the accuracy and reliability of the model. And in turn, it will reduce the annual involvement needed to validate the data. So higher the number of training, higher the accuracy. So in UiPath, we use a tool named Data Manager that, is, that comes in as a part of AI Center under Data Labeling to train the models. So we have two approaches that we can take to train the existing models. First step is start from scratch and build your new model. The second step, use the data generated through the extracted train activities in the existing document understanding workflows and use that data to train the model. So whatever the approach that you take, the steps that you need to follow is almost the same. The first thing is you need to create a data set in AI Center and create a data labeling session so that you can get access to Data Manager. Once you have access to Data Manager, the first step is configure your OCR engine. So as Nisak mentioned, you have to decide what's the best suitable OCR engine for your scenario and configure it accordingly. Take a note that Data Manager supports multiple OCR engines. Once that is done, you can create the fields that you need to extract along with their data types. And once, if, you, if your document has tabular data, you can create the columns that you need to extract as well. And once you have defined the columns, you just need to upload the documents. So remember, since we have two approaches, if you are creating the model from scratch, once you upload the initial data set, you need to highlight the data and assign it to the respective fields by clicking on the shortcut keys. Or else, if you are using the data generated through the extracted train activity, all that is done for you by the validation process in the workflow, you just need to verify the extracted data to make sure everything is correct and export the data into the AI center. And once that is done, create a training pipeline so that you can train the existing model. So let's have a look how this is done. So in the studio, the main activity here is the trainer extractor score. Make sure you pass the validated information to this activity. So it's very important to build the validation workflows to generate the accurate data to train your model. And in this activity, we are using the machine learning extractor trainer to train or generate the data we need. The fields specified here are actually the fields available in your machine learning model. So if you are creating the data manager session for the existing model, make sure you create the names according to what you see over here. Or else if it's a new model, those fields you define will be shown in these drop-downs. So configure that and let's get back to data management. In data manager, 
as you see, I have already created a couple of fields and columns, and I have already uploaded three documents. So in case you want to edit any of these fields, you just need to click on the edit button and you can change the data type, the shortcut, or any of the properties, including multi-line or hidden and so on. And once you have done that, you can also add new documents into that same existing session just by clicking on the import document. You just need to provide the batch name and show the import the data generator through the extractor trainer. So that's what we are going to use in our demo. So the extractor train activity will create three folders. The one documents folder will have all the documents processed. Metadata folder will have all the extracted data and validated information. So you simply need to save this file and upload it to data manager. Once you do that, it will check the files to see how many files are available in the zip file and try to process them. So it will check for duplicate files and it will also ensure that all the files meet the required criteria. The important thing to note here is for you to train the model, you need to have at least 10 documents processed through data manager. So in our case, we have added seven files. With the existing three, we have the minimum 10. So once the files are available, you just need to verify the data. Make sure you don't have any empty information. If something is not extracted properly, you can easily change that. So verify for the accuracy. And if something is missing, you can simply highlight that information, just like what I'm doing right now. Highlight it and click on the, or press the shortcut key assigned to the dedicated field. So if it's for billing address, click on, or press on B so that it will update the field. So likewise, uh, do that for all the documents. So in here, we have different kind of invoices with different layouts. So as you see, all this highlighted information is provided by the validation process. And once you have done the validation and check the data, you can export this into the AI center by clicking on export tag data. Clicking on that will give you a new screen where you just need to provide the name. Make sure you don't provide any capital source spaces. And then click on all labeled so that it will export all the data in this session into the AI center for you to train the model. Once you upload, you can see that data if you look into the respective data set. In our case, it's invoice level data set. Now you can go to pipelines and create a new training pipeline so that you can train the model and choose the machine learning model or the package and choose the current version and then choose the data set. So in our case, under invoice labeling, we need to find the data set we exported under export. Click on that and click on the create button so that it will create a training pipeline. So this process will take a while, but at the end, once it completes successfully, you can easily upgrade your machine learning model to the new version. So as an additional note, in the next release of the document understanding, we will have auto retraining capabilities as well. So this will basically improve your uh, life in training the data. So how else you can learn more about document understanding? You can sign up for the enterprise cloud trial or community edition to try out by yourself. Also, you can get certified on document understanding through UiPath Academy as it has different video tutorials provided by UiPath and community contributors. In case you want to learn more about these activities, documentation is also available. On the other hand, if you have any questions, you can feel free to reach out to any of us or to, or to the community through UiPath forum. So that concludes the 
session on document understanding. Thank you very much for listening.